uh, what we can see here, the avatar model is a human scan. It's being uh, has a bump map on it, and uh, she's currently tracking the face recognition. So as we spin around, we'll track face the camera. So the shader basically is handling soft shadows and also the reflection. And it's also got voice control, so I can say, Sophia, listen. Viva listening. Can you give us a wave? It's great, thank you. Speech output activated with lip sync. Can you point to the green square? Can you point to the red square? And we also have button objects which can also Hi, Harry. Let's get going. activate What's that? various gestures. I can also ask it, for example, to point to an object that doesn't exist. Hi, can you point to the Ferrari car? And can you tell me the time? The time is 12.08. So that basically shows you the model. The model is also using... Uh, I'll need an internet connection to check on that. Uh, please go quiet. Going quiet. So the model is also using the, the software using the camera. Uh, and face tracking and reorientate taking the look out of the avatar uh, to the camera. So the ideal with this is to have a, a photorealistic avatar running on very um, low cost GPU modern GPU devices which are handling most of the work uh, and then have all the usual features for voice interaction, um, gazing with facial recognition. That's basically what we built in system. Okay, so the shadow there you can see the reflection below it. Uh, we also have a um, limited form of ray tracing built in which also can be handled on lower powered devices.